Let's go ahead and try to fix up our lack of cars by putting on Banana Master. Banana Master, I love you, man. And like I tell you, Banana Master, we do get this right here. Great. All right. So, do I want an Serena GX? Yeah. Do I want more cards? Yeah. I'm going to get three. You get four. You get the same amount, so it's okay. We do get more cards in there. Good. And right now, I have a chance to use my GX, or I can use Jumping Sidekick. I'm going to use my GX attack. You have no more cards in your hands. Zero! Zero cards to play! Yeah! Yeah! One, two, three, four! I took away the end and a lot of and the tap of cocos. Man, you have a lot of tap of cocos. Take a look at that. Promo, full art, regular tap of cocos, like what I do at my ends. Speaking of which, we need full art. Man. Well, hello, Nuggles and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And all day's menu, I'll be serving you Serena GX. I don't recognize that card. Is that from Burning Shadows? No, it's not. It's from one of those special boxes with the promos in them. So, it's a bit unique and they may be expensive to get three copies if you got all three boxes. So, I went to cheap round. I just paid $6.54 on eBay from Ruby of Magic who sent the codes pretty much right away when they came out. So thank you, Ruby of Magic. And that's how I got the card. It's the rest of everything else I got my own. So, how good is Serena GX? Well, actually, I would have wanted to say, you know, that's something at the end of the video. What does Serena GX do? She has a combo with Confusion. If the opponent's confused, she does a lot of damage really efficiently. Yeah, so, you know, at the end of the day, you can take a lot of damage as to the enemy when the combo goes through, and you're gonna be confused, which there's only a half chance your attack will work. So it's a two-in-one combo. Yeah, so, oh, Serena! All right, so I'm gonna get to explain to you in more detail how this works. You're gonna see it in three. Three what? Yep, three awesome matches for you. For you. Okay, let's get started. This month's intro is still alive, which you have, you know where it is, from Portal. Checked it out already, so we're gonna move on. Serena GX, let's talk about your hit points right away. Stage 2, you should have 250 hit points, the max that a Stage 2 could have. You have the least the Stage 2 could have, tied with Guard of War GX, so... Sound weird how the Lady GXs have the least bit points. Well, things like, like but Champ has a little more. But, you know, we're not going to make any uh, patterns out. And we're going to move on. 230. That is, yes, it's a little bit less, but is enough. It is tanky enough. It's hard to one-shot that. So, we're going to let you pass, Serena GX. Moving on, Serena. You can, now you can really tell us what you are. She is a ninja. Very special kind of ninja. So, one of the ninja tricks is they can kidnap people. Yeah, so kidnap side eye. What she does is she kidnaps one of your opponent's Pokemon off the bench. You get to choose, which is the most, you know, likely to make the vulnerable. Switch them out, and now they are confused. I mean, if I were to get kidnapped, I would be confused too. So this makes total sense. Serena kidnaps me. I'm now at the front of the stage, and I'm confused. Which, if you're confused, you have a 50% chance to miss. So how do you deal with that uh, as the opponent? Hear it, you're likely the easiest way to have some switch trainer, so that will, you know, cost your opponent some resources. You could get something. You're gonna get something out of this side eye. And I like that. Alright. Confusion never goes away though, so uh unless you do something about it. Now, what is your second attack? Ninja can kidnap and this ninja, you know, once your opponent is confused, you know, you can take advantage of that with a very high damage check. Jump and psychic. It does a base of 90 damage to, let's say, a non-confused Pokemon. Healthy Pokemon. Healthy Pokemon take pretty much half their life. 90? We're going to boost it up with the choice man. 30 more damage to GX and EX Pokemons. And she will two-shot herself. Yes. Not the biggest, the baddest stage. Uh, two GXs. They will live with one hit point. However, every other Pokemon, there are very few in that special category, will get two-shotted by this attack. And you know what? For that energy cost, it is okay. It is totally okay. We can work with that. But if they are confused, she tends double damage. Take advantage of the situation. Up, oh, the Pokemon's confused. How do you get them to be confused, though? How does 180? You gotta say that. Does 180 damage. Add in a choice band, 210. 
All right, that is very high damage. Still not enough to knock out <laughs> Serena herself. So you know, see, nothing's wrong with 230. So how does how does the ninja get the confusion on the same turn without using side eye? Okay, so mm, we're gonna have to get some help here. We're gonna have to use Haunter. Gothic fear. So when Haunter shows up to the party. You know, he starts doing uh, funky things. He starts scaring everybody. Everybody, nobody is spared. So both your Pokemons are confused, actually. Both active Pokemons. Your opponents and your Pokemon. Because Hunter is like, I'm going to mess with everybody. So, when you evolve it, that gets everybody loose. Unfortunately, it gets rid of Serena. Now, the thing is, I have a special relationship with Hunter. Every time Hunter works, I will always get Tails. My opponent has a very high chance to. This has been consistent through past videos, so if you like to go back and find every video that has a Haunter, it's gonna be Tails. Pretty much you're not gonna attack with this guy, that's just my fate. Okay, so, and now Serena is confused, the enemy is confused, so she has pretty much a 50, technically a 50. Really, it's a 0% chance that's gonna miss the hit. We gotta fix that, so how do we fix that? We're gonna use our Chaos Tower Stadium, which is still in standard, and will still be in standard. It protects you from... It's actually on the other side. You can flip it, whatever you like, it protects you from two special conditions that are always in the same combination. Sleep Paralysis! Paralysis or Confusion Poison. You're gonna face it the other side, which you can turn your head around and it will say you are immune to confusion as long as the stadium is up. So that's how you prevent your own Serena from getting confused by Haunter. It's like, up, oh, I'm uh, protected, you can't uh, scare me, you can't fool me, and only your opponent is confused. So now you will do 180 damage with a choice band 210, and your opponent's confused, which really sucks. For them, for them, for them. All right, so that is Serena's confusion combo. Now, what is her GX attack? GX attack messes with your opponent. It's a ninja trick that discards four cards from your opponent's hand. They choose. The trick is if they only have four or less cards, they have nothing in their hands. It is all down to luck. It is all down. How good is your top deck luck? We'll have to find. So we'll have to see, which you're definitely going to see in the video. So, the thing is, if there's Banana Master or Sushi Master around, then you, uh, this actually does nothing at all. They'll just draw more cards. I mean, whatever they have in their hand will be in the Discord. I guess there's some that you have that, but you just don't, you know, get them real, truly stuck. So, that is the GX. This is Ninja Serena with her kidnap, her kidnap combo sneak attack, and uh, to sabotage her opponent. All right, so that's all about Serena. Now, we are not using Forest of Giant Plants. We are not using Rare Candies. Quick base to evolve her. Why? There was just not enough space, and I had, I had the cards I have now are consistent as I could make it. Look at this, 18 Pokemon cards, so you have very limited trainers, which I'll explain to you what they are in a bit. So, the remaining cards, we have Coconut Master to call you supporters, we have Banana Masters just in case Serena works against us, or, or you know, anytime you're low on cards, you're never gonna be low on cards. So ends all that, Banana Master is here. Alright, so cards specific to the Serena deck. We already talked about the Chaos Tower and the Stadium protects you from the confusion. We have the Evolution Spray and a full 3 Haunter line. This is going to consistently make sure you have a confusion somewhere a couple of times in the match. Hopefully when Serena is up. So even if Serena is not up, confusion can't help you out. I mean, it stops your opponent from attacking. They have to do something about it. So yeah, yeah. So I found that two, well... Three is consistent. You have two devolution sprays to so unevolve them to repeat some of them. Because hey, once prized up, you have at least two to work for you. If one of these tech is prized up. So that's you know the consistent way to get Haunter out. That leaves very little space for everything else, which everything else is more of a you know the, your essentials, your draw supporters, the trainer necessary trainers you need, ultra balls, getting cards out. That stuff. What I'm saying is I'm done explaining the deck. I think you absolutely understand how Serena does or my version of Serena Haunter works. Now, it is time to see this in action. All right, here we go. Let's do it. it this is a Tapu Koko deck. Actually, I think it's a Tapu Koko deck. It looks like a Tapu Koko deck. Lele versus Lele at the start. We both have, yeah, it's a Tapu Koko deck. I'm going to play my remix now of Asgore from Undertale, which is... Yeah, this is Asgore from Undertales. This is my favorite remix uh, or anime or song 
from the sound entire soundtrack. So, gonna open with Raikou. That is not a Coco. There's lots, probably a Coco somewhere. XX passes. Ichu just discarded the Raikou, not throw it down. And an energy. I would have. Well, I know he couldn't play the energy, but he's like, I don't want that. All right then. So, you know what? Let's get the party started. Get you out there. Get the ghastly out there. Double check what else is like that. One steady looks prized up. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All the DCs and the remaining energies are there, so let's go ahead and play that. The energies, do you trust you want to fight with the Lele's? I could! I totally could! I get the second attack, so maybe you may just tank for me. And we could just start with a boon suite later on. I'll do that. I'll do that. I actually ba I'll actually toss these down too, in case he plays an N. Or maybe he has a he has a tool removal. He could just remove those right there. Why am I doing that? So I don't have to worry about it later. I don't have to worry about it a bit later. All right. So very uh, but they move. Our Lele is gonna be our tank Lele. He intends to fight with this. Okay. We uh we have a one shot combo. We need to start evolving this. Two energies. He was gonna get the first hit anyways, but it's only gonna do 40 damage. I put the energy here. 60 damage. So it's gonna yeah make him work for that. Buy some time for myself. Alright then. Hi Derp! Hey Blib! Welcome guys to, to my stream! Yes. And now double checking if I've been uh... Yes, I, I did uh, forgot to say Josh Duncan 1989. Saint Yaros Ford, thank you for the follow! That's a very light attack. If you played no cars, you must be stuck. In that case, that tells me I'm gonna play Vol Boon Suite. Let's go ahead and play Sycamore instead of playing N. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, ooh close. Now I only have two Stennies, I don't think I want to evolve all the all the Serenas. Or can evolve all the Serenas. So let's get it up right now. And we're gonna pull out. We have Lele for next turn. We're gonna get Stenny up! Alright, so he's like I'm I'm extremely very fortunate. Very, very fortunate that he does not have a... Uh, that he's been stuck so far. He played the Sycamore, he could have had a Raikou down and charged charge him that back up, but he's charging up his Lele. He's got so many cards in his hand, and he just straight up attacked. Three energies, going all in for the Lele! He's like, where's my draw supporter? I feel a little bad for him right now. But he's like, don't be, don't be, don't be! Ultra Ball, okay, things are going, things are finally going now. So he, if he pulls out the Tapu uh, Coco, he will finish this off. And that forces me into, I gotta fight now, I gotta fight this uh, Lele. Gotta fight the Lele. I do not have. Actually, I might have a one shot to overcome uh, his. I do have one shot to overcome his. He's gonna pull a Raikou, so there is no Coco. There should be a Coco, but this is a budget. This is a budget deck. Not a Lele. If there was a Lele too, if he had another Lele, that'd be good. So now the. Oh, wait. No, there is Tapu Coco here. He does have a secret Tapu Coco. Now, this is soft enough for him to get a one shot on me. So, very bad. Alright, so we really, really need a Haunter in our next pool. Really, really need a Haunter. He's not stuck anymore. He's going to finish off two prize cards. I would definitely do the same. And yeah. Take that, Sky High Claw. So, we need the whole combo to bring out. And you know what? To make sure the whole combo works, let me put out the Ghastly with the Float Stone instead. Much safer that way than sending something else out. Oh, hey, Shauna. I'd rather go for a Sycamore, though. It'd be much uh, safer. Usually, it's more safer that way. Did Gage just getting it? Yeah, he's like, why do you need Shana? No, I want Sycamore. Our, our teammates be nice too, but teammates getting Roche. Let's go ahead and get Sycamore out right now. Sycamore, where are ya? There you are, man. Let's do this. You need to pull me a Haunter to get the KO on this. Haunter! We have so many of those, but they're not gonna come here right now. What are we gonna do then? We could just go for a two shot. Could just go for a two shot. Let's play this down right now. I'll go ahead and play uh, the stadium. You know, shrink my hand just a bit, undo the confusion. There's nothing I could do. I have three haunters. I have three haunters. But I do want to do something. Any, anything's better than nothing. He might have Acerola too, which would be crazy. But if he does use Acerola, that's okay. We're gonna use Jumping Psychic, get rid of the threat right now. Go for a two shot. Would have been nice for the one shot, but it's okay. Thank you for the follow, Jago Bear, as well as Juice Juice Boss Iskang. Thank you for the follow. Paying attention to that, I'm gonna 
for the guy. Yeah, teammate's gonna be Miss Alexander Harper. It is definitely when you're playing a lower decks. And look at that, you discard my stadium away. I have four stadiums. I mean, I, I'm meant to contest the stadium. So I also have a choice band too, which uh, no, no, I have a PC for this and goose muscle. If he does something fishy, I'll be able to get rid of it. Does it have his GX attack is not strong enough to get me. I'd rather sink this all right now, so he's like, give me another Tapu Koko. Why are you discarding so many, uh, Pokemon? He's like, nope. I need my bench space for other things. I'm gonna discard those, that Drompa. It's like, I, I want to put some down on the bench. So now, if he played that, he cannot use Acerola. He has to play another Tapu Koko. In which case, I have to Guzma that out, which is okay. There's the Jolteon. This deck is looking kind of familiar. Built mine quite similar to this. There's Astro there. Are you are you playing with the new standard? Or are you playing up with the old standard? Looks like this is so far a new standard to me. I haven't seen any verse seekers, nothing else. He play uh he didn't play um oh, Astro, so it's good. It's good. Okay. Moving on back here, focusing. XX Basis. You know I'm gonna sink the energies with you. You gotta do something about that. Sky High Claw, he decides I'm just gonna fight. Good move, good move. You know what, I don't really need to do that. I'd rather play this right here. Undo this, and we do have a Guzma. And the next Pokemon that's right to go is this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and charge it up. We're kinda stuck ourselves, but there's nothing we can do about that. Jump and Sidekick, which is gonna strike two shot each other, even though the combo doesn't come out this game. Hey, I get two prize cards. I'm good. There's the missing Steady, which can evolve next turn. And there's an Ultra Ball for the full co full combo, which we can perform. So, yeah, this is a full retreat here. I'm I'm safe right now. I don't see any way. That, no, there's the threat back there, too. There's a the threat. This is two prize cards, but this is the true, true threat. Super Scoop Up. He wants that Lele. Oh, yeah. Another Super Scoop Up. It works. You're going to pick that Lele up. Get yourself a straw supporter. Or any supporter. Any supporter you want. Like, what should I get? Probably a draw supporter. I don't see. Or Astro. No. Astro is a little bit too late. Kind of wondered if he actually had these in his hand uh, last turn. I would have done it on that. I would have done it on the Tapu Koko. That would have been cool. That would have been awesome. Three energies, 420 damage. It's not that bad. Yeah, that's, that's right, uh, Alexander. 120 damage, it's actually average. It's the same as Tapu Koko, but we prefer the one-shots, don't we? Yeah. All right, Tapu Lele is going to come down. XX Basa is going to make his choice. I don't think I should try to go into a different accent when you're rude or something. So. All right. But that's fun to do. That's fun to do. I like that. I like that. All right. I'm gonna get some water and, and hang it out. What did you choose? Coconut Masters can bring Lysander out, which means you do not want to deal with the. Uh, you want. Why do you want Lysander? I have a Goosebus, so I'm I exactly gonna counter that. So you Lysander is getting rotated. You must switch it with Guzma pretty darn soon. Gonna pull out the wooden sweet. And luckily, I have Guzma here, so Stenny, go ahead and come up. And I think I will need to perform the combo, so gotta be careful about that. Let's go ahead, use Guzma, bring out the one that has all the energies on it. I don't want to, you know, to get KO'd in the future. I am forced to play Ultra Ball. I have no choice about that. The Evolution Spray, Field Blower. We're gonna need... I want to perform the combo. I'm gonna get a prize card. I know I'm gonna be pretty stuck on cards after this, but, uh, you know, I have no choice. Now, the stadium should protect me, so... Stadium is protecting me. I am not confused. There we go. Only you get confused, so I pull off the full combo. Jumping sidekick! I want to get rid of the threat. I could have totally one-shotted a GX Pokemon, got more prize cards, but I am being safe. I want to make sure he has no energies. If he does have a DC up somewhere, he can finish off the Serena. Or Max Elixir, at least. Yeah, Max Elixir is a regular energy. I'm not in the save. Lots of Tapu Lele's there. Yeah, I think you can flip one up. So, there we go. Sycamore. If he gets rid of this, we will have the Tapu Lele as a backup to fight. We also have another uh, Serena. We also have another concert combo to finish, uh, try to end the game. Although, the stadium is over. It's gone. It's not over. It's gone. Okay, there we go. There's Max Elixir. However, you know, you did a good job for me, Serena. Oh, it missed. That's good news. Because we could have potentially lost, uh, lost our, our, yeah, lost it there. 
Kenneth Francis, what are the odds TCG Championship and Donald's Live at the same time? So I have to turn choice to pick. I know, man, but uh, I have to I have to stream Serena you know, when it's fresh, and it's fresh right now. So I gotta do it. You gotta do it. All right. So I kind of need cards. Do I have another Serena GX in my deck? If yes, then I I think I want more cards. Or I can perform the full combo on you, which is not going to get you KO'd. The full combo only does 210. You actually have... 260, so... You know what? And the full combo is going to hurt me because I don't have a confusion. So, let's go ahead and try to fix up our lack of cards by putting on Banana Master. Banana Master, I love you, man. And like I tell you, Banana Master, we do get this right here. Great! Alright, so do I want to Serena GX? Yeah! Do I want more cards? Yeah, I'm going to get three, you get four, you get the same amount, so it's okay. We do get more guards in there, good. And right now, I have a chance to use my GX, or I can use Jumpin' Sidekick. I'm going to use my GX attack. You have no more cards in your hands. Zero. Zero cards to play. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I took away the end and a lot of and tap of Cocos. Man, you have a lot of tap of Cocos. Take a look at that. Promo, full art, regular tap for Coco's like what I do at my ends. Speaking of which, we get full art in. Super scoop up, it is a Tails. Oh, he could have got something. That stinks. That stinks. Okay, so now a fresh, healthy Serena is up now. I could end, but why would I? Why would I? So, let's use side eye. Bring, out, bring something else out. He is totally vulnerable. He is absolutely vulnerable right now. So now we can get a one shot on this Tapu Lele. It's like, I, I need another super scoop up. I need a super scoop up. Ooh, another one for me. I can perform the combo right. No, you're already confused. I don't need to do anything else. I just gotta use jump and sidekick. Jump and sidekick. I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to end. I don't have to activate this. And that gives me two more prize cards. Oh, this is the absolute moment for Serena. Absolute moment. Ooh, one more prize card, and we, uh, oh, man, we're here. We're almost here. We're almost here. He's gonna send that out against Sick Boy. He's like, yes. And he had another type of Coco, too, but there's no energies in sight. No energies. We need, uh, we have, oh, there is one energies, and he can use Swim to do 40 damage. Now, unless I need some way to remove. So oh, I have this right here. I need a two removal. I do not think there are any two removals in my deck, but I think there is a stadium left in my deck. We're going to use Side Eye right now. We are just going to use straight Side Eye because right now he has actually 230 hit points on it. And that's that's a little too much for me. That is too much. By the way, thank you for the follow. Shampoo my eyes. That was a few very really uncomfortable for the for the, for the the follow today. And going to load that up. Oh, they all have Fighting Fury belts. But this time it's not enough. The trick was... Oh, and it's like, nope, never mind. That, that, that worked this time. Send out, back out the Jolteon. He can hurt me a little bit more. And at this time, I think I may just straight forward attack it. Another Jolteon out. I would need a Guzma. They all have Fighting Fury belts. There's You gotta go for, go for a two-shot, Donald. You gotta go for a two-shot. All right, I understand. I'm going for a two-shot. Getting that Jolteon back up because, like, you're gonna retreat back there. I understand. I see. My damage limit is 210, so I just want the Stadium. Oh no, flip away my can. I only get one card, but Banana Master is here. Banana Master is here. I didn't evolve the Haunter yet. I get another end myself. They are tanky Jolteons. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna have to straight attack you. I'm straight gonna take straight attack you. Swift again. Do you wanna lose this card? I think I wanna make it work for it. I don't want it to be um, uh, to be you know too close to prize cards. I'm gonna shrink my hand. We're gonna load you up so I get all the full credit. I'm gonna retreat you. I don't want to give him a you know give him a give him a freebie. I, he's gonna be close, much closer to winning if that's out. We get the super out, we do get the confusion effect in, but you know, I don't trust this. Nor do I need the, nor do I need a, to do it, so let's go ahead and do this. I think I'm going to play a Super Eye. We don't need any more Serenas, we're just going to have to fight with what we have left. 
But I do want to get the ghastly Lele energy stuff that seems safe. So now I just gotta finish, man. I just gotta finish. We're just gonna use jump and sidekick. Get you halfway down. Not even halfway because of that stadium right there. That's nuts. That is nuts. One more prize cards for the taking, guys. So, it's gotta have the Lysander. We'll pull that out, finish it off, make a little warp for it. Yeah, and this time he should retreat. This is getting a little bit risky for him, too. Nope, energy's gonna go here. Jolteon is gonna be the fighter, but no, remember there's Tapu Cocos. Those Tapu Cocos may come out, you know, last before. Acerola, what move? So what I'm really waiting for is the stadium. The stadium would end the game right now. I just want to see how many stadiums I have left. Four, two stadiums, they're in my deck. I mean, if one card is right here, it's in my deck. It has to be in my deck. Swift. By the time, stadium would just end the game for me. All right, it's not. You know, you might end up attacking. In fact, if I pull the stadium, you will end up attacking. I'm hungry for that stadium, guys. I'm hungry for it. Would you like to leave both Pokemon's confused? Yes. Yes! Let's go ahead and use Psychic. Pull this out here. We don't have it, Haunter. You like me? You're Tails. I know it. This Haunter. This Haunter has always been Tails on stream. Always, always, always been Tails. Past videos and not. So that, that really helped him out. He's like, yeah, I can just undo the confusion by retreating. We don't get the... Now I lose my chance of getting the, you know, the combo out. So, Lysander finishes off. This undoes the confusion for my end, unfortunately. Fortunately. Get Swift. Now you're closer to victory. Much closer to victory. So now... It's getting hot. It's getting hot, guys. It's getting really, really hot. Gonna send you out here. You're fresh and healthy. You're yeah. We do finally get the stadium. Gonna load you up there. At this point, it's not useful anymore. I don't know. I don't think I have another Ghastly. I do not have another Ghastly. I have to use the Evolution Spray at this point. Do I have another Evolution Spray? No, I don't. There are no more Confusion combos. You can't waste it a little too early. So, you know what? I have to straight attack. I do have a Tapu Lele. I can really get him stuck. Yeah, I think that might be what I want to do. Tapu Lele. There you are. Let me check the look of my hand. There is Sycamore there. So, and N. Let's do that. We'll, we'll play the War of Attrition. Would you like to search our deck for a supporter? Yes. I like to play N. N will get me one single card. So let's do that. One single card. It's an energy. Tied to finish. Well, not really. Let's go ahead and use Jump and Sidekick. Get ya! Not quite halfway down. Not quite halfway down. Speaking of which, have you discarded? That's three stadiums. How many stadiums have you have in your deck? We're all running four. He's got three, so that looks like an average amount. So that stadium and the Bez keeping him alive. Buying time. He just needs another Lysander. This is getting lower. Lower and lower by the minute. So now that's vulnerable. We're going to have to switch really, really soon. That is the stadium. That's going to lower your defense. So I'm definitely going to do that. Speaking of which, do I have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, 160 is not enough energies. I'm gonna hold on to this for I might need it as a retreat or something later. Let's go ahead and use jump and sidekick. I'm not vulnerable to you right now. Got you all weakened up. There we go. So now uh, yeah, all, all of them are vulnerable. All of them are vulnerable. You can run all you want, but I got a big, oh my gosh. You do have four. You won the stadium's wars, congratulations. You can shoot, retreat, attack with this guy here. 110 hit points. A little bit more than that. Oh, man. Another one. Oh, man. Stenny's, he's not going to survive very long. Oh, the Acerola by all this time. Just hitting, stabbing with the 40 damage. And he might throw DC in somewhere anytime, man. He might just throw DC in there. 80 damage. I'm getting really vulnerable now. So he throws a DC in. I want to make him work for it. You can't just easily toss a DC down, so I have to retreat. I have to retreat. We're gonna throw these energies out, man. We can't finish. We cannot finish. We're gonna use energy drive. Take this! 120 damage. We do have two shot KO now. So yeah, he's gonna have to pull that out. Get DCE. That would be GG if everything lined up on that. If everything lined up the last two moves, he might have to. All three Lysanders are here. I don't see any verse seekers. I think it just hasn't replaced it with Guzma yet. That's, yeah, it's tough. It is tough. Take a look over here back at chat. Hmm. 
He did a Rangaroo for the lows. He doesn't deck out. So he doesn't deck out. That is correct. I have very little cards left. He has very little cards left, too. He Lele. I guess he took a look. He's like, no, everything's not there. You could switch out for the Lele. I would start trying to beat it up. Okay, this this one's going to come out. That might be an end of it. He should have sent out the Lele, I think. He should have sent out the Lele. So, did you do the math? One, two, three, four, five, six. That is enough. I do enough to get you out. I have to stab this one extra energy in here, though. I believe that is an energy drive. Got it. Got it. I had to stick the energy. I don't know the energy was necessary. All right. There we go. Woo. Got a little dicey there at the end. Got a little dicey. But the uh, deck is running a lot of... A lot of, a lot of Pokemon tech. So, I think that's how it goes. That was good. That was good. That was good. So, that... How? Oh, hey, look at that. It buys a lot of time. Acerola, super scoop up. It's gonna be crazy. Good game. Finally, finally, this is together. Yeah, man. Finally, indeed. Woo! What a tight Welcome game. to another Serena Chi X match. I'm gonna play my remix of Imagination, which is from Haiku. Great uh, drama anime. So, look at this drama and Gobbler. Looks like that's what we're going against. So, what am I gonna do to start off? My hand kinda sucks, so I need to throw away a couple cards. I would like to keep the boon sweet, well, the steady. Because you know, evolving it is bright. Ah, you don't want to discard items, too many items. Alright, boon sweet, you're going down. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pull our Lele, which hopefully is here. There we go, is Bridget here? That is important. Bridget is not here. However, I would definitely like to play an N or something about that. Alright, no Bridget it is prized up. That is fine. Let's go ahead and do that right there. Uh, okay, would you like to search your deck for a supporter? Yes! I'd like to check this out. Let me check the Pokemon counts. Haunters are fully here. One Boot Sweet, one Steny. All the Serenas are accounted for. We have a Lolan Vulpix as well. So let's go ahead and get that out there. Alright, Ghastly, if you, uh, if you uh, survive, which I think you should survive, go ahead and try to come home in the next future turn. Let's go ahead and do this right now. Alright. That's good. That's not a bad uh, man. Alright, we're gonna... Man, it's gonna give him a lot of items. But I'll bait it out. You know what? I won't play this right now. I won't play this now. Just leave it out here. We actually... What's bad here is I don't have a draw or an energy for next turn. So that, that could be just luck. Yeah, alright. One energy up. Righteous Edge or Berserk. 20 damage to a Ghastly. I don't think it's gonna go for that. You gotta use your GX attack. You are you gotta use your GX attack. Field Blower. Look at that. I, I made the Field Blower out. And, alright. My hand... My hand was... I'd rather get a better hand. Let's just say that. I'd rather prefer I get a better hand. So, lots of energies now. And it looks like we're gonna have to Ultra Ball those energies away, unfortunately. Because, uh... Yeah, sometimes you get a little, uh, it's, a, it's a flood of something else, but you'd rather be a mix of having nice uh, everything else. Alright, Righteous Edge, not gonna use a GX attack. I would've used a GX attack. I would've used a GX. Maybe you're saving for that. Oh, gives me a draw supporter right here. Lucky me, lucky me, and we needed that too. So, you know what? I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be selfish. Let's go ahead and play this right here. We need our uh, core Pokemon up, which is steady. So, let's go ahead and get the next evolution up right now. Alright, get you up, put the energy on. Now, I, at this point, man, I'm, I don't want to give him any more stuff. I think I'm just going to go straight for a Sycamore. He looks kind of stuck. Yeah, so, yeah. Full Sycamore down. It sucks I lose a bunch of energy, so, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. Sycamore, help me set up even more. Alright, you know what? I'll give you a choice band as a... I'll go ahead and toss you down right now, too. And unfortunately, that is end of my turn, which is uh, which is okay. I could remove that off here, but I think I can still get more value out of that. So I'll end my turn right here. By the way, thank you for the follows. I heard that. I gotta make that noise, that little alert better. I think I said it last time. Thank you for the follows. And Nathaniel Christian as well as Weed God 21. The God of Weed. Weeds, he makes griefs grow out of your lawn. Alright, so he got the energy. It's not gonna go into the Drumpa. Pretty good. They're going to the SPI, which will get us confused. However, we have a stadium. One of our, our four stadiums have not showed up yet. And we can remove confusions from ourselves. Big Wheel GX is like, yeah, I probably should have done that earlier. So, all right. Big set of card pulls for you. But now, now my Serena is up. I just need a DCE. I might just, uh, we'll, yeah, we need a DCE. We got a DCE. We're going to play everything we can, too. 
I need more cards, so let's finally get this gel. Uh, where are you? Where are you, Serena? I want to make sure that card's evolved. I could, uh, could uh, immediately drag it out, too, so that's good. Now, before we sick him one, we're going to play everything we can. Guard Roar is going to be a bit of a problem, but I think I have enough hit points to survive that. 230? Ah, you're at the very low end. Alright, so play everything before I do this. I know I have Haunters. I have more Floatstones somewhere. I have a Vulpix. I have Chaos Tower. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to leave it as is right now. We don't have any Retreat. We don't have any Retreat. And I don't want to throw the Lolan Vulpix down right now when I don't need it. I'd rather it be for the last remaining Boon Suite. It makes more sense that way, so... Alright. I'll let it go. I have four Chaos Towers. I'm gonna throw it down now, so it gets, uh, we'll get, go ahead and have some fun with that. So, let's protect the confusion from my end, in case he does have some confusion effect up. There we go. Toss that all down, and if a Sycamore is gonna come out, we lose our standings, and we're gonna be really desperate for that Super Rod right there. So, free retreat for his side. All to the boot reduces all Pokemon's attacks with uh, all the retreat costs by two with ending with a Psychic or Dark Energy, which he's using the right deck for. So, that is fully energied up. He can retreat, definitely come out and hit one of the gas leaves. I'd rather he not. I'd rather... Well, I, I bet the better choice would be to use Guzma or something like that. But uh, we do have a one-shot on him if the combo completely works. There's the Garbro coming out. Look at the item counts. I know I unfortunately had to discard so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two shot on a Serena. Two shot on a Serena. That's scary. That is scary. All right, looking over here at chat. Oh my gosh, top deck king, yes. Probably talk about the Lele. Have you just stayed him to avoid? Yes, yep, yep. Lysander gonna bring out. I, I kinda. I felt that. I felt that. Alright, so 150 damage to me. And, you know, the stadium was discarded, so I gotta find myself another stadium. Let's go ahead and do this right now. Yes, I wanna confuse it. With, I need to draw one of my stadiums. That is essential, and you know we we can't we can't avoid this. We have to get the boot and sweet out. That Garbodor is gonna be so so strong, so so strong. And when you're gonna need a super run if we do want to see another steady out. So let's go ahead and get that there. There it is, and we uh, yeah chaos tower, chaos tower, and the confusion effect on my side. And this should get me a one shot, and that should be that that should be the end of for that steady. So that we're gonna have to charge up. I think the backup's gonna have to be uh, Tapu Lele. Yeah, Tapu Lele come out, and I gotta make sure that I better draw my, you know, get these guys back. I also need energies back. You're a, you need everything back. We're gonna be risky with the energies. And charge it up right there. Alrighty then. So I don't want to evolve the confusion right now. Let's go ahead and use Jump and Psychic. This should be a one shot KO. Yes, it's a one shot that Espeon before you go down. Take it, take it down with you. Wish, uh, wish the Lysander didn't come through though. Well, we get the evolution spray. Our confusion, uh, confusion tech is fully online operational. Thank you for the follows. Midorichi, Midorchi, incognito GH, who cannot, who is in the sky. Nope, Juarez and Ho Yoris Onk. Thank you for the follows, friends. All right, now. That is a big KO, 220 damage, and unfortunately, Garbodor takes me out in one, uh, one big hit. Nobody else was really to go, so I have to fight with Tapu Lele, which, yeah, if he gets a one-shot on my Tapu Lele, that is absolutely worth it for you. However, you know, we can play with Confusion. We can mess with that. So I'll go ahead and put that right there, and I'll go ahead and fuse you. It won't confuse me because I have to tech up. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let me check the item counts right now. It's okay, it's safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, you know what? Just, just get it over with. Just get it over with. Just throw it down there. All right, let's go ahead and use energy drive. Get two shot on this, and if we're lucky, we will not get one shot. On we have passed the, we have passed way past the line. I do not have another Pokemon to attack after this. I'm charging a Boon Sweet. I probably should have charged up the Lele. So he does have a po another Pokemon to attack. He does have free retreat there. Oh, nice. And this activates the 150 condition. He needs a choice man to get a one shot. Field blower. Removing the choice band back here as well as my stadium, so I've got to confuse myself at one point. And he could use his big, big giant attack. Or he, or he doesn't have to. What do we do? What do we do? We can hit it really hard, but we have to risk uh, getting confused ourselves. I 
really need a draw. It sucks. It sucks. I wanna, I wanna see my uh, another uh, Serena GX up, but I think I'm out of gas right now. All right, so we're gonna bring back Eevee as well as Espion, but this goes to his deck. I don't think even Lele Sycamore would really could use one of those right now, wouldn't ya? Yeah, all the Sycamores are there. Ends are all that's left in my deck, so you know, gotta send me some Shanas in. Definitely want to see some Shanas. Hi, Haiku OP. You definitely got the Hashim. And I'm alive! You don't have a choice, man. That means I get one extra hit on you, which is absolutely worth it. Wanna risk the confusion effect? Come back later for it. I wish I was something I could do. I wish there was something I could do. Be very... Risky with this. Let's go ahead and do this. These haunters are good. They're always gonna land tails. But I think you might like me today, Haunter. Do you like me today? They're always gonna land tails. I KO'd myself. I KO'd myself. I'm gonna put a sad face right there. I'm gonna just gonna straight put a sad face and put a Haunter. Nope. It is. They are very good at landing tails. So I just gave my gave them a free KO there with a risk. Otherwise, I could have confused them, get a nice big giant attack in there. So I think he sees that he sees the moment now. That's that's that's. You're so good. I like you for that, but I don't like you for with the tails. It's been. It has never been heads. It it has never ever been heads. <laughs> All right, energy evolution. Gonna get SB on up. Uh, he only needs two more prize cards to win, so he's just aiming for one of these guys right here. And for us, our draws are low. We're gonna retreat, gonna send the Espeon out. I don't have weakness. So we just use uh, that right there, alright. Very, uh, very soft move. He has a one-shot kill right there, too. So, put this right down right now. I don't want to evolve that Haunter just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and play Edge, shrink his stand all the way down to very little. We do have Guzma and Chaos Tower, which is nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down right there. I could survive another turn, don't really mind. Alright, so I'm being locked up on my cards myself. Banana Master's not here, did not start with... Well, just keep that in mind, just keep that in mind. Gonna send a drop out, so I'm just gonna finish it with this. Berserk! Alright, so... He's got four tree. He can just finish me. I don't think there's anything. This is the, our final, very final turn. There isn't much that I can do to stop him, I believe. All right, I do get Serena up. Serena is up, which is nice. I can't attack with it just yet. I am gonna Guzma to retreat. Guzma send the Serena. Guzma, which you can send out. Put this out right there. Put you out right there. Yeah, I'll just leave it as is. I will leave it as is. Not gonna do anything right there. I could attack and drag another Pokemon out, but uh, Trubbish, uh, this looks useless enough. Yeah, yeah, why do you have so many cards after I end somehow? All right, gonna float some for a treat. Nope, send out the big giant Garbodor. I've probably played too many items at this point. We're gonna see a one shot. What is this, Verse Seekers? Get a Lysander out, a Haunter. Yep, GG, GG, all right. So bringing out the Ghastly right there. All right, so this tells me I could, uh, what well, I was missing? To in the very first Serena GX match, we have just made the deck. We're gonna go get some trials on this. So I'm gonna play my remix of the world, which is from, this is from uh, Death Note. What are you using? No, that's my deck. That's what I have in my deck. I have Banana Master opening with Serena at the very start and all these wonderful ends for the future turn. Look at that, we have all the energies that we want too. So this is a very, very, very good hand. Now take a look at this, you're using multi-switch. XP share, all right. So I, I can't tell. If I think lightning, I mean, every lightning has to be a, has to have a Tapu Coco. I mean, it's just an easy card to squeeze any lightning there. So that's what I expect this to be. All right, would you like an extra card? Yes, I like an extra card. We have plenty of draw supporters. Raikou, all right, Raikou, challenge, feel the might of my Serena deck. Which is coming soon. So, you know, get the ghastly, get everything out there. Of course, we're gonna charge a Serena up. We want I feel safe. I'll give you an expensive energy. That's all I can do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn right there. Bridget first turn, Alexander Harper. 
That is a very exceptionally good start. No Lele's, no Ultra Balls. It just comes right into your first hand. The only Bridget we have. So, one energy up. He's waiting to evolve his Pokemon too. We can get the confusion up, but that's not what I want right now. I want to evolve my Pokemon. I know, yeah, yeah. I don't really want to confuse it. You know what? I can't confuse it. I have to worry. I'll worry about it later. So, you know, this is a Pokemon we do want confused. Would you like to leave both Pokemon's confused? Or Rangaroo's like Banana Master's confused? But he'll be coming back soon. So I don't want to discard all my draw supporters. I gotta, oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we do not get the rare candy or any, uh, any other evolutions. All right. You know, I'm not. I'll go ahead and toss this down. I'll actually toss my stadium down, too. We're going to face it the way so that I wake up and he does not. So now if he has any tool removal, I'm going to bait it out, you know, so my actual stuff doesn't come out. Yep, yep. Alright, so that, that is the thing. I, I see it. I kind of kn knew from the start that I need some more, uh, some ways to lock on to... No, I don't. Don't, don't have rare candy. Ooh, energy removal. Dang, removing. Oh, yeah, yeah, these are still around. And they're still good. We haven't, uh, we've been forgetting about items because of do Garbodor. Because Garbodor has been around saying, hey, don't play any items. But now... No, there's a reason for it. Why Max Elixir the Voltor? Two energies up, but it's confused. Get him to start off with a Sycamore. And now, I have four Chaos Towers. I want that to be consistent. And you know what? Here it is. There it is. Everything is. Neo Lego is going to work so well with Serena. This is Alexander Harper. It totally is. I wish I had Neo Lego right now. So I could uh, poison, confuse. Much easier than setting up a Haunter, which we have to do. We want to set it up. So, Evil Soda. That means you're going to get Electrode. You're still confused right now because of the Haunter. I'm kind of very, very glad that I uh, did the confusion during uh, my last turn. So, but Zap, he's going to charge it up. I get a prize card, which maybe a... Uh, oh my gosh, I pulled a Stenny that I needed. Excellent. It's charged up. And it can... Oh, the confusion block Haunter. High five. I remember this Haunter. I remember you. Back in the day, you used to ruin my uh, my life quite uh, quite significantly. So, all right, we can go. You know, we're not gonna face it the way wake his him up. I I do need energies and more cards, so I'm gonna flip this right now. He's gonna get actually more cards out of this, but you know, my I need stuff. All right, we get choice fans right now, so I'm definitely now. I'm not really stuck. I've a I have a type of lele. I'm gonna thin my hand. You know, I mean, if you got a tool removal, do it right now, please, please. All right, so I'm gonna, you know what, Hunter? I'm gonna actually gonna send you out front, so if it's confused, let me turn off Alexa. Alexa's listening, and she thought I called that name, but I'm not. So, nope, nope, uh, that was a mistake. I'd rather keep the Hunter. Yeah. So if you have a switch. I'd rather that stay up front if you're just gonna attack through confusion because you have a lot of energies You will take around Rangaroo. Take my Haunter away. It's okay. Haunter is like you only. I'm gonna get your tails next turn, but um, uh, We gotta play it safe. Oh no! Discarding my hand, but look at this Banana Master is like, don't worry doll. I got you. I got you. Wow. Wish Baton Ran and Raikou. Ooh! It's like, wow. You are good stuff, man. You have some good stuff on ya. We also get a stadium that we are not going to wake you up. We're always going to flip this up right here. All right. What does Serena do? Well, we'll I have actually haven't used it yet. So uh, it does a bunch of things. It does uh, It does more damage if the enemy is confused. So right now, you know, we could... No, we're not going to switch. We're going to use switch to you know, blow it stone away or let you get KO'd. All righty then. So there is Serena. And I don't actually have a regular energy. Up. Let me see what got Hunter's in my discard. I don't need it back. I'm going to place this right here. I could use the evolution spray, but I don't see a reason why I should. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of waste right now. That's all I need to do. I'm going to end my turn. And <laughs> the confusion has been wrecking us Pokemon. He's, it's going to feel a bit wasted. Uh, yeah, potential. He takes out just a Haunter. Is that a big, mighty Serena? Yeah. However, he's got two Raikus up. And that's very worth it. Very, very, very worth it. So Serena, however, will get some one-shots on this, which I ho certainly hope so. On both these Pokemons. Ah, uh, we'll see about that. I need a Ghastly up front. I need a Ghastly up front. There we go. He's like, nope. I'm not going to deal with the confusion anymore. Just one energy retreat. Totally, totally worth it. All the Raikus. This is a nice budget deck from TEV Calamity. All right. So, man, we are playing the Stadium's Wars. He's discarded all my, all my Chaos Towers are gone. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. What are we gonna do about that? Removing another energy, that means I really have to land in DC with this right here. So Max, Serena is not ready to go. And then, you know, he always has a retreat ready up. 
So I may have to be, I end up using the first attack if N doesn't land me anything. Or I could use a Sticky Sycamore. Alright, Gothic Beer. There it goes. Serena, I think uh, I'm going to send you out first. I think I got a free retreat with a Ranguru. I think it's much safer to play it that way. Alright, so we definitely, I, there are two Haunters. If I want to see another Haunter, I'm going to go ahead and skip them back right now. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, all the Haunters, all the Tapu Lele. Well, I have another Tapu Lele. It is okay. And I want to get lucky. I want to get lucky. Thank you for the follow, Carter Whitman. Would you like to search for a supporter? Yeah, yeah. By end, I only get sick five cards. I want a sick more this time. Sick more is going to destroy a lot of ends, which is not as useful right now. All right, so we are going to go ahead and sick more. We want the DC so we get an attack. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We do get the DC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have Skyler here. I have plenty of Ultra Balls, which uh, could have been useful later early in the game, but not as useful right now. Hi, VSS. VSSH. Hello, Sir GS. Welcome back, man. So let's go ahead and get the Ghastly out here. And you know what? I will use her first attack. I will use her first attack. I'm not going to use her GX attack right now. I don't feel safe right now. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do this right here. We're going to use Side Eye. Bring out this, uh, bring out this Raikou right here. So bring it out. Confuse it. And remember, the stadium's up, and my stadium, unfortunately, has been all discarded. All but discarded, so that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be a little bit rough for me. And thank you, uh, thank you for the follow. Hair, hair, fish, fish land. Ah, that was. Ah, hello to you. All right. Now, focusing back on here. Multi switch, getting all the energies up. What? The confusion? Aren't you confused? Switch your Pokemon to Pokemon out there, but active Pokemon's not confused. No, 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 no. I guess he woke up somehow. He must have switched. I was not paying attention. Alrighty then. Now, thank you, uh... Hey, thank you for the host of BSH. AH. Ah, uh, N. Alright, I get more cards. Great. But I'm not gonna get one shot. However, I'm l I am gonna lose my Serena next. I need the DC pretty darn soon. Like now. Pretty much. Alright, Thunderlands. I'm alive. That's good. I have a Guzma, which I can abuse. Yeah, I totally can do that, but I don't have enough energies. Ah, I don't have energies, but wait, I may be able to get a pull somehow. I may be able to do that. So I do want to definitely put a few in confusion. Yeah. Better, uh, let's go get the two removed right now. The XP share says port, but I do want to remove this right here. I sort of want a Guzma, yet don't want a Guzma. Uh, I gotta get lucky with that DC. One pull, one single pull, or a draw supporter. Nope, neither, nothing here. So I'm stuck using this right here. Or I could just Guzma. I don't want to waste my I don't want to waste my Pokemon. So man, we could fusion. We could fuse it for no reason. All right, let's go ahead and stick this up right here, and I'll just go ahead and send my Haunter up and tank for time. I need to buy some time and the energy. Let's go ahead and put the Steady up here. Unfortunately, no, we don't get our we don't get our DCs up. 14 cards remaining in my deck. However, the third there must be the prize card. Only one DC so far. Alrighty then. So he's got another Stadium that winning me, defeating me on the Stadium is war. And you know, set up right now. I think I need a little bit more Pokeballs. Mm -hmm. So, Energy Lotto. <laughs> oh, missed. Oh, wait, wait, what was Energy? You look at your next deck. You look at the next uh, couple cards, you see it, and gonna give me more cards, which is probably gonna land me to DC. Uh, you take another Haunter, that's okay. There we go. The I DC is finally coming through. We have another Haunter here. So, one set of Haunters going down. We should have another set and uh, the Evolution Spray. All right, Evil Soda, gotta get this Evolved, which is also cancel Retreat, and you can probably charge up the Raikou with the back. All right, so I lose two Haunters, and, and I get two prize cards. Luckily, that's helping with the prize cards. I really wanna, you know, sink out, sink down one of the Raikus. That has a lot of energies. They're in my prize card. That's why you've been getting low in those energies. Thank you, Moby, for the follow uh, today. All right. He retreated. Yes, thank you. Ah, that's that. That's why he is uh, the confusion is removed. We got Haunter too. All right, so a lot of it turns out a lot of important cards were in the prize cards. Yeah, all the Voltorb's Electra coming back, but hey, the more prize cards for me. So Haunter goes down. I don't think that I'm gonna try to get this one back up. 
All right, hopefully, uh, unfortunately, uh, he gets to keep he gets to keep one energy. It's not so bad. This arena is going down, but I will have another arena ready to go. Is that good? That's that's very good news. I have good pop the GX. This one can't use the GX. All right, well, we need to use the confusion effect. You know what? If we need to use the confusion effect, I really should have uh, sent the Wrangler out first, then retreat it. That would have been smarter, wouldn't it? That would have been smarter. So you what? Know, because I messed that up. You know, I always I want to promote a promo. Well, I wanted to promote that card by auto, you know, automatically, but that's not good for me. Let's go ahead and do that. Hell, you know, we'll just have to risk it. Now I know Haunter's pretty good stuff. It's pretty good at landing tail. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm. Yeah, yeah. This this these Haunters. I don't know why. But every time I use this Hunter, it's always been Tails. It's been Tails for him, it's been Tails for me, so we'll have to see what the hell, what's going on with this. He can just retreat, send this big guy out, but we'll be ready on the next turn. So unfortunately, unfortunately for this arena, because Donald didn't send the Rangaroo out first, he could have got, got this one-shot KO down easily, easily. So, alright, Donald, you gotta, you gotta make, uh, make this work. Alright. I never thought I would say this here, but Malasada, Malasada would be, be useful. Yeah, it would. I kind of kinda would. So he's like, I'm not going to deal with retreat. I'm going to send my fresh Raikou out, in which this time I do not get the confusion from a Haunter. I'm just going to have to go as is. So that misplay probably cost me a lot. A lot. Uh, what does Serena do? Serena only gets a one-shot when it's confusion, and he's going to delink with me again when I have very so few cards remaining. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna discard you, you, and the Ultra Ball, unfortunately. So I think uh, I'm out of gas this one. I have to send out the Tapu Lele to fight at this point in time. Serena goes down. I get no value yet this this time, but that's okay. We're at, <laughs> we're at the first trial. Yeah, I definitely could have done this a bit better. Oh man, you can easily get a one shot on this guy right here, but you no, know, that's how it goes. That's how it goes, dolls. You could have. You gotta pay attention to how the confusion trick works. We have the evolution spray, which could be useful, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this right here. I don't know if you have a lot of energy, enough energies for me to get the KO, but I'm gonna go for it. And energy drive! Wow, we do have enough to get the KO. Okay, that's how much you do. You should have, well, one more fresh Raikou up. It just needs one energy to attack, and it gets a two shot on me. I might have enough to come back a uh, one shot. Let's see. Well, that's two energies. Six energies is 120. No, we'll see. 120. Actually, that might be okay. That might be okay. Tapu Lele will carry me through the end. Uh, or or I, might, I think I should have one more Serena somewhere. All right. Well, only one's in this card. So two of them are. Yeah, two of them are. One of them is my prize card. One of them is somewhere else. How do how do, hey Donald? How to see the new Serena GX? Let me go ahead and uh, talk about it for you. Serena GX. The first attack drags out kind of like a Lysander. Pokemon from the bench you choose and it confuses them and the jumping sidekick of their confused it does a hundred whopping 180 damage so there's that we also have Queen's Command what are you doing you got the elect nope nope you're playing Sycamore I, I you know I can't Sycamore myself but uh energy lotto looking for the last remaining energy cards how many energies are you in this card by now 10 that's a lot and if you use your Electro that's gonna give me one more prize card I'm gonna need that one more prize card. So he really sucks that he can't attack this turn. All right, we do get a Serena GX. So we may be able to at least use a 90 attack, a 90 damage attack. No, we could use Confusion Effect to just straight knock it out. But I lose a DCE. I lose a DCE on my uh, on my Pokemon. I don't really want that. But. Straight put a DC on right now. I'd only do 120, so that's not enough. I don't want to waste my uh, energy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and straight put this on. You know, if he gets a big attack on me, that might not be worth it. I want to shut down uh, everything uh, that can really fight, so that's the, the that, that has a lot of value. Let's go ahead and do this correctly, Donald. Let's go ahead and put the confusion in. Yes, it is confused, and now we are gonna go ahead and retreat. I will have to pay, unfortunately, a DC up. I don't want to draw all deck out pretty soon. And now this meets the condition for Jumpin' Sidekick. Here we go, Jumpin' Sidekick, double damage, 160 because it has the little Shining Body ability, which reduces by 20. Should have been 180 though. Ultra Ball, alrighty then. So that's the final time we can probably use the combo. A weakened uh, Raikou's gonna come out. And, you know, we might just uh, get, get a clutch pulled in through this. Yeah. We're all out of, we're out of gas. You, yeah, he is out of gas. I'm out of gas too. He has 10 energies in a discard, trying to remove an energy. It does work, but I do have enough energy to still hold on right now. 
So, uh, actually, I can't use Queen's Command. I may have uh, some... No, I remember using my Super Rod. Uh, but I don't remember using that many energies. Wow, four DCEs, five energies. So I remember I have 12, 11 energies. 11 energies. Two are here, seven. Seven plus... Ah, this is the last energy in my hand right now. Gonna use Lysander to pull out that right there. All right, he thinks that's the heaviest Pokemon. Well, no, I don't really have a retreat right now. Hey, I have rare candies. All right, you know, hey, I will attack with you. I could retreat and attack with you, but I'd rather just do this. So, gonna do, you gotta do it again, my retreat. Uh, take a look at the float stones. One's in the discard, one's right there. It may be in the prize cards, or it may actually be in my deck. I have no way to find out. I have no way to find out. I could rare candy is Serena, too. You know what? I don't think the rare candy, our, our way that we're building the deck right now, I don't think rare candy should fit. You know, I could definitely use that room for something else. So Lysander, you know, you could just squeeze that in for Gus, but this is a, how close is this to being a standard deck? Lots of verse seekers there, it doesn't work. So gonna Lysander one more time. No, he's gonna Sycamore, he's gonna draw himself out. He could Lysander draw a stall me out. It's like, okay, this guy, this guy, oh, that's all your cards, man. That is all your cards. I think you can, yeah, you can stall me out. I mean, I don't have a float stone that I couldn't even put the float stone back here. So, help me. we're all out of gas. We're all out of gas, but I think you could have, act yeah, pull me ahead, pull ahead. Look at that. Now I'm completely stuck and I have to draw the remaining of my cards out. You got some recycling? Got any recycling? Cause then, yeah, you no, no. <laughs> I got lucky. I got lucky that line. So, very first Serena deck. You know, at least we got to see the combo, what to see it does. And now I'm gonna make some improvements. So, let's go, let's move on, let's move on. Well, you wanna see this? That means you have reached the end. And that is so, thank you and congratulations. It's time we rate this thing. Let's break it down. All right, Serena GX, what makes you special? What makes you different from everybody else. What do I think about when I think of Serena GX? And that is easily your combo. Your confusion combo. We hit a confused target. You do massive, if not lethal damage. Now, let's really break it down to the, you know, the parts. First of all, is damage. How good is the damage here? Well, I can't say that you will always get a one shot. However, 90 damage with the choice man easily gets you to two shot, perhaps the confusion. Well, the confusion is gonna do a lot, so uh, yeah, 90 damage. I'm gonna actually be leading, give that around a, a four out of five, meaning there's a chance of one shot, but it's usually trying to follow a four shot pattern, which is what pretty average for these days. So, Serena, that's you. All right, four out of five for that. Reliability, I'm gonna have to hit this card with a three out of five. So, the thing is, it will set up. We're gonna give it a three for that. However, where are those two points missing? The evolution that you have to get this up. The requirements that you must also have a hunter evolve the same turn that you want to attack. You have to try to unevolve them as well. Have the chaos tower facing your side, not removed. There is just too many complex things that have to line up to get the magic to happen. So, other decks do this much better, much easier. That's why it is a 3 out of 5. It does it enough. You can get yourself a win here and there, but I would go with other decks. So, reliability is the most critical part. And the payoff. What is the payoff meaning when, you know, everything sets up, everything's perfect? What is the final product? Can it compete with uh, the big, big, big decks? No. No, it does not. I'm going to have to give that over a 3.5 out of 5 because, hey, the whole thing works. The whole thing's 210 damage goes through. That is quite pretty good. That is actually quite pretty good. However, you know, it's hurting a bit of reliability. I guess that doesn't count as a payoff. She does have a little bit less hit points in the stage two than I would like. For all the effort that you have to set up for this, it's still flimsy in the end. That's why the payoff is weak there. It's flimsy in the end. That's the best way to put it. So, rating. I'm going to give you a three out of five, which you know, is lower than other decks. Yes, even though it's a GX Dex, it's not as reliable as I, you know, I want it to be. So, I recommend that you stick with other GX cards that in Barney Channel. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there are a lot of easier GX cards to get that, 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 that will do perform easier than that Serena GX. Wait till Neo Lego comes out later this year. So, it's going to be a quite a bit of a wait. So, for now, you want the best of Serena GX? I, I think this is a good template uh, to try out. Make it better. You can take away some trainers that you think I don't need and add more in. And do whatever you like to try. You know, 
tries to make it sell it well. So, this is my uh, template of it. Now, what else? Anything else I gotta say? I hope you're watching this video. I probably said I was gonna do more Shadow next. So, more Shadow is really gonna be tomorrow. Okay, more Shadow video. That's coming up. Alrighty then. More Shadow is up. I think that, you know, we're about to wrap this up. Please like, subscribe, because you know you love my Pokemon content. You wanna see more. Totally. You can follow me on social medias, and I'll give you hints when. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna give you hints when the new cards, new uh, videos come out, and streams. We'll have more of that in soon. So, remixes can be found on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. If you really like my re remixes, they're there for you to listen. Okay, so, I think that is it. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I'll see you guys next time for more Shadow GX. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> you know he's not done. Uh, if you get to this point, then, so yeah. All right, so you know we'll have to start with the definite scream schedule really soon. I want to do those you know, consistent hours, at least four hours, four to five hours every, not almost every day. We gotta have a day to myself, so maybe five, five to six days a week. So, yes, that's, you know, that's what you should do, uh, stream. You should stream consistently, you know, we don't want exactly to come to see you. So, that has to be done soon. How soon? I want it to be next week. I want it to be next week. I have to iron some things out. YouTube is taking away my video editor, so I have to learn how to actually use Adobe Premiere. Yeah, it's a very good software to use for video editing. It's, I think, the industry standard, so I learned how to render videos, find out how long that takes, and, you know, change my schedule. Change, change, change. There's a lot of change for me coming soon. All right, and, and hopefully it's better for us all. Okay, so that's really all I have to say for today. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I'll see you guys next time for more Shadow GX. Bye-bye.